I am so excited for this video guys because for the first time I get to use this uh, Kuretake Gansai Tambi watercolor set. I bought it in Jackson a few weeks back and I finally got the chance to use it. I did a quick swatch in the past just to see how the paint feel but I really didn't get the chance to paint with them so we are rectifying that today i'm using a, a still life reference taken from unsplash and i am using a kuretake paint for my first layer but i will add a layer of oil pastel to finish it off because i love mixed media and i always um find the joy in mixing and using my supply now today uh, what you see is a uh, speed painting a fast process but if you like to uh, see in detail the entire process of creating this painting is up on my membership it's a real life tutorial and uh, yeah you will uh, hear me talking and give all the explanation behind every single brush stroke to join my membership you can simply click the join button under the video and for 2.99 a month you will get two extra at least two extra video tutorial and more uh, but now let's go back to our painting as you see i love to mix straight on my um, pans and i love that i have such big space in here they are really big pans so i use like a half of the pan for mixing and the other half to keep my color pure should i need to use the color that way i have to say it's an incredible pleasure to work with this watercolor um, i am not a huge watercolor expert i use it time to time for my background but i don't seem to connect too much with watercolor usually but i can say safely that i see myself using this paint again and again and the reason why is um, uh the, I don't know, it just works very well. Uh, it's a halfway between a watercolor and a gouache. It's a creamier and it's, um, um, you can work it out more opaque, should you want to. It mix beautifully, it spread when it hits the water. It does everything it needs to do. It's very vibrant as a paint as well and i love that i really didn't have any problem using this paint and i actually enjoy it so much i find the entire process of the to be easy and straightforward despite being my first time using it I would love to know from you in the comment if you have used this paint before and what's your personal experience. I will link in the description the Amazon page for purchasing this paint if you are interested in it. Personally, I love it. It's so easy to mix and to create a vibrant color. As you see, I do not have a huge set in here. Despite that, I did manage to create some beautiful mixes, like a two extra variation of brown, some beautiful orange, nice purple in different shade ingredients, some gray, some blue black i create a tons of mixes and i was very very happy with all of them so even just a small palette from this paint really goes a long way and as i said it spread really nice that is usually something that you admire in uh, watercolor and i should mention that it's also very easy to lift 
if you like me end up adding a bit too much color and too much water on the page so works very beautifully here is where i start to add uh, my old pastel because i love the sensory experience that they give me uh, on top of another medium so i like to add my pastel for mark making here i'm using the fiber castel uh, set of 24 i believe it to be i also purchased this in amazon link down in the description and um, yeah i just add extra value know that this paint needed you could go on top again with the same paint to give more definition but i just love mixing things up and here i'm playing just with a different color and adding more definition and more vibrancy and this is it for today guys if you want to see more of this paint and the other paint uh, click the join button to become member of my uh, special private membership group and uh, otherwise remember to like and i'll see you next time thank you for watching bye